Hello and welcome to the Bird Tales. Today is December the 31st. It's New Year's Eve. Happy New Year's to you. And I am on a WMA with Gilly and we had a pretty darn good day. So right away we went down the road. The wind is coming just like this out of the south. And so I wanted to work from the opposite corner of where the parking lot is and go into the WMA with, the, with a better wind. And as we were on the road, Gilly just turned and went on point on this brush right next to the road. And then he lurched forward, and right as he went, birds flushed out the other side. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now, I haven't watched the video, obviously, so I don't know exactly what happened, but it seemed to me like the birds were getting up, and then he went forward. We need to work on steadiness a little bit, and I, I want to get him to a point where he's not going to do that, but I think those birds were getting up, and that's why he took off. So anyways, those birds went south, and the wind was coming out of the south. So our best bet for dog work would be to go straight at them, but that's what they're expecting, is that there's a guy to the north of us, and if they hear us coming, why wouldn't they just get up again? So we went back, and made a big loop around and came at him from the north, um, which doesn't work as well for Gilly, but it was our best option. And we must have turned in our loop right where they were uh, because Gilly just got into the cattails and went on point. And I was having a technical difficulty with my collar once again because it was saying that I was 225 yards to the east of where Gilly was and I had just seen him going to the cattails. And so I was going in blind. I didn't know exactly where he was. But we did have one more rooster. Uh, I think Gilly was actually up ahead of me a ways, and the bird just happened to get up on my left. Fetch! Gilly, fetch! Find him. Find him, Gilly. Where'd he go? Come. Come. Good boy. Good boy. Drop. I have no idea. And other than that, Gilly did pretty good. Uh, he pointed probably three or four hens. Good points. Good boy, Gilly. Good boy. Whoa. Good boy, Gilly. Whoa, whoa. Uh, he did also run through probably three or four hens. And uh, most of the hens that he ran through were when the wind was Gilly. at our back. Gilly. And whoa. I think there's a couple of issues. Number one being that I think, and I've said this before, um, I think he wants to get just a nose full of bird. He wants to just be on it before he's going on to point, which is frustrating. He needs to be more cautious, especially in these cattails. He can't get that close or they're going to take off. Um, he seems to really struggle with cattails, but if we're out in the open, he'll have a much better point. But the other thing is, um, we have a steadiness issue clearly. And, uh, we're going to spend a lot of time this summer working on it. Um, my goal is to get both Gilly and Skip steady to shot. Um, no more taking off as soon as the bird flushes. But that's a job for this summer. There's only three days left of Minnesota season, so we're going to deal with it for now. 
And I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned for next time. See ya.